Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to another episode of the Dotcom Lifestyle Vlog. I'm coming from the San Clemente Outlet. It's Saturday, we're here to charge our Tesla, walk widget, and check out cars and coffee. It's a beautiful sunny day today, unlike the last couple of times that I've been here. So uh, I'm hoping to see a whole bunch of cars, but it's uh, like 10.30, so it's 30 minutes before the show's over. It starts at nine o'clock. So hopefully there's still some cars left. Let's go. Okay, not bad. Looks like a, a lot of cars are sticking around. And what do I see over there, a bus? As I said a little earlier, Calls and coffees happen every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. at the San Clemente Outlet in South Bowman County. Every Saturday when it's sunny, anywhere from 500 to up to 1,000 cars would flood this parking lot. Uh, there's only three rules, uh, no revving engine, uh, no burnouts, and no speeding, something like that. Obey that rules and yeah, you're, you're fine. The event is totally free to attend. You don't need to pay anything. You have a car, you want to show it off, just come, park it, back into the parking spot, show up the car, meet other car owners. So it's a great event, family friendly, dog friendly as well. Great, yeah, great day to just like uh, spend some time with your kid, getting them interested in cars and walking the dog. The Ford Club, nice wheels. Some people would take advantage of cars and coffee by offering their car for sale. Yeah, why not? Free advertising. See, another car for sale. 22, 2012 Nissan Maxima, 59,000 miles on it, one owner, $10,900. Uh, we have a punch buggy free zone at Cars and Coffee because there's usually so many Volkswagen bugs and we know they're they're punch buggy, so you see one, you, you say punch buggy, you get to punch the person. But since there's so many cars and coffee, that rule is suspended. So Sally can't punch me. Now there you go, father and son. Father showing the kid how to photograph a car. The old Dodge Viper, this is a blunt weapon. Look at that. See, it had no side windows. This is the side window. It's uh, basically, you, you take it off. It's either, and it's vinyl, plastic, and this roof that slaps on top, as you can see, they didn't care about fit and finish. I, I'm sure it leaks. And I, I'm sure there's a lot of wind leaks through this uh, plastic window thing. But uh, you know, nobody really cared because they're just blunt instruments of destruction. Mercedes Benz SLS AMG. This was the predecessor to the AMG GT. It has a, uh, well, gold wing doors. These doors, yeah, gold wing doors. It, Kind of cool, and a super long hood. I mean, that, that is super long. <laughs> Stormtrooper Camaro. Camo SDI. Oh, oh, and we have a dog meeting here. The meeting of the dogs. There's two puppy, and of course, you always get, always get the wires tangle. Always get the wires tangle. Yeah, that's a problem. No oh, widget met his match on that one. All right. Anyway. Camel STI. That's a. Uh, what do you think of the wrap, Sally? It's not going to help you camouflage anything. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So here's the STI club right here. Hey, Japanese muscles. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's something you don't see every day. An original Datsun 280Z. I used to love these things. This was a, uh, you know, a. Uh, that's in or Nissan sports car. And what's that sound? Oh my God, it's, it's a farm truck with an idle. Sounds like a big block V8 in there. Check out this thing, Sally. A slam, what is this? Remember the slam punch buggy? This, what is this? A custom cab. Cool, look, look, it slams so low, you gotta cut a hole in the floor to clear the suspension mem members. Check this out, Sally. It's a life-size Hot Wheel. Life-size Hot Wheel. Yeah, it, is. it is. Look, the, the, I see the Elbrock carburetor there. It's right there. Elbrock carburetor, the Elbrock air cleaner, or Mopar. See? Look, Sally, there's a Hot Wheel. See, it's a Hot Wheel. That's the Hot Wheel version. 
and right down to the smokestacks. Yeah, you gotta love it. <laughs> you're gonna start up. You're gonna start it up, and the smokestack's gonna smoke, right? Well, it doesn't smoke, but it'll exhaust will come out. Oh, right, let's see the exhaust come out of this thing. That's gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I can smell it. <laughs> okay, we can't rev too hard. You know, got yeah, that no revving rule. Yeah, <laughs> that's too bad. Oh, oh, sorry about, sorry about that. Sorry. Yeah, that looks quite smoothly. Uh, I see the headers on there. Yeah, that's a good thing about the, you know, looking at the old engines. There's nothing covering it up. You see everything. Uh, you look at the new engines today. They got all these carbon fiber covers or, or just plastic covers. You can't see nothing. You know why hide it? Show the engine off. Some Morris. With the UK flag and everything. Wow. Hey, that's cool. Use your mini to advertise a coffee table. I like that. Yeah, it's a coffee table made from a made from a wheel. One of a kind. It weighs 70 pounds. Wow. Guy in Long Beach built it. Sally, stand next to it. Show how small this thing is. Look at that. Literally, look. It's. You're too big for the car. <laughs> I mean, in fact, big. I bet you if you go to the side and stretch your, stretch your arm across, you could, you're greater than a... Oh my God, look at that. Look. <laughs> that is, go to the side, go to the side. Put your arm to the side. Look how small, just to give you an idea how small this is. And it's right hand drive. Okay, I'll hold on to the widget. There you go. Uh, you stretch. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. Look. <laughs> you're wider than the car. My wingspan is wider than the car. <laughs> Wow, this is awesome. The Corvette is are here. Corvettes are there. Corvettes are always well represented at Cars and Coffee. <laughs> Generally, the two biggest brands here are Corvettes and Porsches. Vintage Corvette Stingray with side pipes. A convertible Stingray. And Porsche, like I said, Corvettes and Porsches. Use oil. Need to give it to your oil? This guy's selling some container to, I guess after you change oil, you give it to him. I mean, I own an EV, so I don't know about this, but you know, I guess we cycle use oil. That's nice. The new Lexus LC500. This is a vintage Camaro, but this owner took the best of the old and combined it with the new. So he has a original Camaro body, new suspension pieces, and check it out. A, a modern Corvette motor, supercharged LT4 motor on here. That's awesome. So, you know, you, it's got modern huge brakes on there. What else you got happening? Oh yeah, it's all updated, fully updated. Look at the billet on that. Nice. Supercar row we have here a Rolls Royce Dawn. It's huge. It's got to be the biggest convertible I've ever seen. So this is the Rolls Royce Dawn. It's got suicide doors. It opens up that way instead of the other way. It's got 20. Well, how big are those wheels? It's got huge wheels on there, and of course the Rolls Royce logo always points straight up you when you're driving. Always straight up because it's a Rolls Royce. Big badging grill. Oh wow. I think the trunk will hold that mini that Sally saw. Here comes that. Sally, look at the size of this convertible. It's a yeah, this is a Rolls Royce Dawn. And, oh check this out. Check out the teak wood deck. That's real wood right there. And you can see the, the wood keeps extending. A lot of people taking pictures of the uh, beautiful blue Lamborghini Huracan convertible. Very, very nice. You can see the uh, the carbon fiber brakes, the custom, the, uh, the optional wheels. Uh, unfortunately, the owner has folded the mirror, so that's 
doesn't take a very good picture. Uh, you know, I request for future cars and coffee participant, if you're going to bring your supercar, uh, please keep the mirrors in its normal position and not the folded position because, you know, we can't take good pictures or videos of it. Right, it doesn't, I mean, let me show you, see? It doesn't look right because the mirrors are folded. So, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, please unfold your mirrors. It's a public service announcement. Unfold the mirrors. All right, let's continue on Supercar Row. We have Audi R8, uh, Magnum PI's Ferrari, the 328 Targa, Ferrari F430, the last of the natural aspirated V8s. And it's got a Ferrari baby seat in, in there. Nice. And a McLaren 650 Spider, a Mercedes convertible. Uh, see, Sally knows all the car. We have a Ferrari 360, 360, a Ferrari California. Oh, this is a, this is a hot top convertible by Ferrari, and we have this is a this is Jay's Ford GT. I, we met the owner earlier today. That belongs to a gentleman named Jay, and it's a very very beautiful car. He is here all the time, so uh, you know he he lets you show off his car and. I can see why it is a beautiful machine. I mean, so you see the supercharged motor. Yeah, and uh, there you go. That's how you advertise right there. Fastanalog.com. Check them out. Cobra. And we have yeah, Cobra. Yeah, look at that. Cobra, Mustang, 911 GT3, Mustang, Mustang. And this is the end of it. We have here a Frisco comma. And the Camaro belongs to the organizer of Cars and Coffee. And I noticed that the, the coffee girls are, are not here. Then again, it's almost 11 o'clock, so I guess they must, they must have shut down. Yeah, cars are leaving now. Bye bye, Lamborghini. Yeah. Ah, but he's leaving. To Hey, there's the rule. No revving, no speeding, no burnouts. Okay, that's uh, basically it. Uh, like I said, we kind of caught the tail end of it, so uh, a lot of the cars actually left by the time we got there. But overall, still a good selection of cars. Uh, right now, Sarah and I are going to go to Auntie Anne's, get some uh, pretzel, and then we're going to head on home and get ready for a dot com lunch. So thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up, like and share our video, follow her on Instagram, randomgirlsc, and we'll see you guys next time.